Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we have a book series for the Oregon Trail. So the Oregon Trail is an old classic PC game that you may have played in school, depending on your age. Um, I don't know if you still have it or not. So there's Oregon Trail like 2 as well. That's some like F&B. But the Oregon Trail is a fun PC game because you could like hunt and you travel across the country on the trail and a lot of bad things would probably happen to you. So maybe it wasn't fun for some. But anyway, it's a classic. Kind of got famous again. Uh, there's also like a little card game that Target used to carry, so it's not bad. Uh, so this is a little book series. That's four books. We're going to pop it open, see how it looks, see if there's uh, any illustrations. It's Choose Your Own Trail, so it's like a Choose Your Own Adventure, I'm going to guess. We'll see when we open it up. So that'd be kind of cool. It makes sense. So the Oregon Trail, little book series here. Let's check it out. All right, we have the Oregon Trail, Go West, Young Pioneer full color map of the Oregon Trail inside choose your own trail so I did grab an Ollie's for five bucks I thought it was a pretty good deal uh, let's open it up here nice box it's like kind of like digitized art so it's pretty cool yeah it looks pretty good uh, we'll look through we'll look at all the covers but we'll look through book one in case someone doesn't want to pick it up all right so we have book one race the chimney rock Have the Oregon Trail guide here. Let's see the map. Here's book two. Danger at Haunted Gate. So more than 20 possible endings in each book, it looks like. Road to Oregon City. And search for Snake River. Alright, so let's take a look at book one. Well, uh, pretty nice books. Paperback, but you know, they're not too flimsy. Have a nice cover. Put this over there. Uh, let's look at the trail guide here. It's kind of cool. Challenge you'll face along the way. Unfold and flip to see your trail map. All right. All right. So it's a little fold-out map. You probably should have right side up. Got some nice little art on it. And then your path here. All right, it's nice. And then you have some information, quicksand, rugged terrain, wildlife, snake bites, and then probably what happens or what to do. It's like heat stroke as well. It's a lot of bad things on the trail. All right, so let's pop it open, see how it looks. So far, I'm impressed. I like, like that I picked it up. Oregon Trail, Race to Chimney Rock by Jesse Wiley. You have another map here of legend territories. So I'll go west, young pioneer. You can learn up your cover wagon, head out to Oregon Territory, where a square mile of free farmland awaits your family. It's 1850. There aren't any planes or trains yet, so you have to walk while your oxen pull your jam packed wagon across North America's Great Plains, Rocky Mountains, and other lands of many First Nation tribes. Like the Ato, Sorry, Osage, Cheyenne, Pawnee, Arapaho, and Shoshone. So, hopefully, I pronounce those the right way. For six months, you'll travel with a group of other family. Wagon by wagon on the frontier path known as Oregon Trail. The first goal is to find your way to Chimney Rock on time. That's a important landmark. If you get there six weeks or less, you'll make it to the rugged mountains before the winter snow starts to fall. But between you and Chimney Rock are wild animals, natural disasters, unpredictable weather, fast flowing rivers, strangers, and sickness. Hmm. All these bad things. Well, only one path will get you safe. Well, man, so one out of 20. Only one path will get you safely across the prairie and through the first book of four. There are 22 possible endings full of surprises, danger, and adventure. All right, so you have to cross the river. How will you get across? 
you're lost, what can you do? Come face to face with a bear. So you're just, you know, so it's like a choose your own adventure. Before you start to read the guide to the trail on page 152, you'll make smarter decisions in your long journey. So let's take a like a page 152. It's way back here. Down the trail, let's explore. So I'll give you some tips here. Pack your wagon, what to take. So it's kind of nice. I always liked choose your own adventure and like a like or like a game with a book. I always appreciated that as a kid. And even now, I'd rather read one of these probably than a regular book. And up to you. What we choose, we're ready. Blaze a, a trail to Chimney Rock. So, we start here, March 24th, 1850. Slam, clang, clang. I'm not going to read this whole thing. So, you're going to read a couple pages to see where you're going to make a decision here first. All right. So, Paul really cares what you think. You feel honored, carefully consider reasons for leaving next week or for waiting another month. So, if you say you leave in April, turn to this page, 29, leave in May, 62, so on and so on. It's like any other two year adventure, and you hope you pick the right one. So, it's going to flip through. You look at some illustrations. Uh, those reasons are pretty minor. They're done. They're done okay. Kind of uh, black and white shadowing. Each one. With some characters here, and they get a, a, an end that look pretty bad. Maybe your dog runs off, see some squirrels, and you got a bear there. So yeah, this and it's like you know, it's nice big print. So it's probably for you know for the target audience. But I think anyone probably would enjoy reading this. I probably I might actually start on the series see how far I get a couple times so there's Oregon Trail like I said, it comes with this nice map your trail guide with information on like different dangers which is cool so for five bucks you get the four books it's all look pretty cool covers are all good it's nice for like kind of like a standalone adventure so you know you don't get bogged down like this was all one book that might be a little a little daunting but like I don't want to do a teacher adventure that's they're probably all like 100, 120 pages or so so I think that's that's good it's good to divide it up and one two three and four also came in this nice case put them all back in hopefully pretty easily uh, don't forget your trail guide. A little snug and fitting them back in. So we'll do this one at a time. I'm gonna be out of order, but that's all right. So this one had some trouble getting in. So we'll do this one here. So this could be a little bit bigger. It's a little snug, but it looks nice. Let's get them back in. It's a little, it's bowing a little bit. But anyway, Oregon Trail, four books, two your adventure style. Uh, I like the art on the covers a lot. So the art inside the books is fine, serviceable. I don't know if I would give this like at a score out of 10. Not reading it just presentation wise, I would probably give it, I don't know, probably like 8.5. So if not a 9. And then maybe after reading it, maybe it's even better, or maybe it's bad, I don't know. So I'll have to check out that first book at least. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.